everyone, and welcome to another weekly connection. So we are here and we want to talk about becoming 5D crystalline beings. Right now, 3D Earth is carbon based. And what we want to do is shifting our energy is moved to crystalline base. We're doing that through what you call your ascension symptoms. So let's get ready. We're going to do this. We're going to bring this into our aura. Get our schmooze out. <laughs> and then we're going to take one drop of the cosmic thrust. Bring it into our hands. Cup it into our head. Take a deep breath in. And that connects us together through the airwaves, through the ethers. And it actually reconnects you heaven and earth and gives you a little extra protection as well. So we're going to do a breathing exercise because as you know, the sun, the earth, places unknown where we got hit with a huge gamma ray last week. Uh, from where we don't know, millions of light years away, um, are all hitting Earth. Earth is the Earth is the focus, and Earth is the cosmic focus right now because the transition of Earth on Earth is most important throughout the cosmos because it's the elimination of the error, and the error is what caused the derangement of ego. So we are doing that now. So. I'm going to take a sip. There, that's better. So we're going to start to train ourselves to accept this new suit, this new body um, with the changing in our DNA structure. And this takes a little bit of adjustment because we've done so well with all the different layers of taking in the higher vibration of light, we're ready to tar start to assimilate that. So the way we do that is through our breath. All right, so we're gonna do that. So let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little bit and then we're gonna go right into it because um, it's very important that we get this meditation correctly. It's very important that you know that we are doing a good job and the vibration of the planet is continuing to accelerate and that cannot be stopped won't be stopped we don't want it to stop so we are moving forward and now it just seems to be really accelerating um the sun is popping off stuff left and right and and as i said things are coming at us as well and coming out of the earth as well so it's just um becoming you know the perfect storm cosmically and i don't know that storm is the right word but it is a cataclysm to make this change occur and it's a big change so you're going to do a breath technique and in that technique you're going to bring in because our air our water our, our planet on 3d is no longer pure enough to just breathe crystalline energy, we have to create that within our bodies. So what we're going to do in this technique is we're going to work to clear and bring in that um, crystalline energy. So very simply, you breathe in that crystalline energy, bringing in, drawing in all the crystal energy in the air as you can. You hold that crystalline energy so that you assimilate it and transform it into your body. And then you release that crystalline energy and you expand it and continue to bring more into the air so that more and more people can breathe in crystalline energy. So let's do it really quickly now. We're gonna breathe in two, three, four, hold two, three, four, and you're assimilating those crystals two three four and release two three four expanding it in yourself and then it radiating out into the air around the entire world so that's all we're going to do breathe in drawing in holding and assimilating 
releasing and expanding. And that's what we're going to do in this meditation. Now, St. Germain, Lord Mahay, and Lord Katumi are leading us today, but the karmic board is sitting back there right behind them. So this is a big thing. And it's going to, people ask me, what can I do for my ascension symptoms? And this is going to be a big help for working with your ascension symptoms now. So let's do it together. So we're going to visualize a golden light. Yummy, thick, viscous, sticky. And we're going to bring it in from source, from the yang energy of the father, and bringing it down the front of us, sticking to every cell, every pore, every part of you, and bringing it into your knees, legs, feet, and out your feet into the earth to the mother, where she grabs onto that. And she says, hello, I'm so glad you're here because you are an honored guest on this planet. And it is through the heart flame of star children, light seeds that are moving this planet to a higher vibration while well, moving humanity because the planet's going anyway, right? So when we say that we mean humanity. Now we bring that energy all the way down into the earth because she holds onto your tether of light and brings it back around the grid, up your back with an essence of herself in it and back to source. And then we bring it around. And this orbit, bringing it around and around and around. Just at a comfortable pace. And this will help you when you're feeling ascension symptoms just doing this. Good. It's good to feel it. And now we're going to bring it down again. And as it comes up this time, we're going to let it waterfall out the top of our heads and stick to every aura, all 12. And we're going to start with the well of the mother, which is that connection that we have with the earth, with the cosmos knowing that we are part of it, that we are a toroid of energy in spiral through the cosmos. And we feel that energy fill that well, fill our aura so that we become more stewards of the earth. And we bring it into our root aura where we now are clearing away all of the malformed creation of 3D that the error driven by ego has created. Because even when there are other planets and there are other planets in 3D, none has been more heinous than Earth in this lower vibration because of the error, because of the ego running everything, running self. So now we're going to keep doing that. And now we're going to bring that out into our sacral aura. And that sacral aura is going to hold that vibration. Good, good. And we're going to remove all of the dogma, all of that stuff from ourselves. Good. And we've talked about our limited beliefs before. We've talked about those things. And now we're going to expand further into our conscious use of power. And that removes all the conflict, all the way the ego interacts on 3D. Bam, get rid of it. Saturate that aura. Good. And bring it up into your solar plexus, where your solar plexus is now radiating crystalline energy so that we can do this together, that we can shift our energy from 3D to 5D, and that the heinous 3D aspects of Earth are gone, gone forever. And that's what you're doing in your light form. You're removing that forever from any DNA structure for anyone who goes into a 3D body ever, ever again. No more hatred, no more anger, no more violence. 
number greed. And we bring it up into the solar plexus and we want to radiate out only that light crystalline energy. And we bring it into the apathic shield, which will remove all of our judgment, all of those ideas that we didn't even know we judged. We didn't even know we're not nice, but now we do. And now we understand other people and what they're experiencing. And we have love, compassion, and kindness for them. And now we're going to bring it into our heart. And our heart is so full of love for all of humanity as we are growing. And let's shift now our crystalline energy and sharing by doing it on ourselves, we're sharing it with others to become crystalline light forms. So breathe in that crystalline energy. Hold and assimilate that crystalline energy. Release and expand that crystalline energy. Bring it in, two, three, four. Assimilate and absorb, two, three, four. Expand and release, two, three, four. In, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, release, two, three, four, bring it in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, release, two, three, four, feel your crystalline energy increasing and increasing as you breathe that in through the air that you breathe, transforming it in your body into crystal so that we now are light, light, lighter than ever before. And your conscious intention will allow you to do that. And it will transform you into a light being. And you will be able to handle all of the energies that are happening in an erratic behavior, but very organized throughout the cosmos right now. And in your throat, where you know you are this light seed and you are seen, heard, you experience. That's what you are in every breath, every step, every thought. You are this light seed because you have no doubt that you are. You have no doubt that you are doing the job that you came here for and your crown gets larger and stronger the more you do this work and the telepathic notch activates as you no longer hold judgment and then we want to fall that out 18 inches and that 18 inch juice bar of light we are happy to carry because it helps others on their journey in life. And it allows us to understand so that we are no longer judgmental. And we wear it thick and strong 24 seven. And we breathe through our heart flame so that that gets stronger and stronger. So the earth is love, kindness and compassion and humanity loses all that low vibration, 3D malcreated existence. All those forms are gone from humanity as we accept and get stronger in our light bodies. So you want to make sure you do this twice a day is good, right? Because the more we do it, the more we breathe it in, the stronger we get the faster this goes. So you know, I'm so glad you chose to do this. I'm so glad you're here. You're doing a great job. So I love you, and I'll see you next week.